Two more Russian soldiers surrendered to the Ukrainian army. Relevant video footage has also been released. It is showed T in video the soldiers from the 79th Motorized Rifle Regiment of the Russian Federation, Mikhailov Alexei Valerievich and Maximov Ivan Sergeyevich. Former prisoners who signed the contract tell how Commander Colonel Efremov Maxim Nikolievich set up a conveyor belt for the disposal of prisoners that make up the regiment. After being wounded, they were not treated completely and were sent to storm again. They tell of cruel treatment in the 155th Separate Marine Brigade, people are shot, maimed, money is taken from their own. They call them, Zex, and drive them forward, hiding behind their backs. Instead of being killed by their own, these two made the only right decision. Having landed, they hid in the basement and voluntarily surrendered to the Ukrainians. Earlier, Russian soldiers complained that his commanders beat anybody they catch drinking alcohol, even though they regularly drink themselves. The UK Ministry of Defense said in April that Russian commanders were punishing soldiers for acts like drunkenness by putting them in rudimentary cells that were made from holes in the ground, covered with a metal grill. Ukraine has been sharing what it says is intercepted Russian audio since Russia launched its full-scale invasion of the country in February 2022. Those have included Russian soldiers seeming to describe how they had been sent to be killed, or were trying to get out of the war, along with extensive complaints about their commanders. Recall, Ukraine's military intelligence launched the I Want to Live project in 2022 to help Russian soldiers desert or defect to the Ukrainian side. Through Discord communication platform, the Russian military in particular received videos from reconnaissance drones, but Russian Roskomnadzor has blocked the operation of the Discord social platform in the territory controlled by the Russian Federation. This disrupted the work of many Russian military personnel who used the platform to conduct frontline operations, writes the Washington Post. Discord is a popular platform for real-time communication that combines many useful features, including online broadcasting. The blocking of the service in Russia caused discontent among the Russian military, which actively uses this platform to coordinate its units on the battlefield in Ukraine. Russian war bloggers, many of whom have direct contact with frontline units, complain that Roskomnadzor's decision caught Russian troops off guard and left them without proper communication. It was necessary to create a replacement and warn the commanders about the plans that the work at the front was not disrupted in one moment. This is called seeing a little further than one's nose, wrote one of the bloggers. From a military point of view, the main problem with the Discord ban is not even that some command posts may be left without broadcasting from drones, said military blogger Mikhail Zavinchuk in a post on his popular Telegram channel, Rybar, but that the relevant department of the Ministry of Defense does not seek to provide any alternative to the troops. According to Zvinchuk, similar systems that the military could use have been in development in Russia, but the Defense Ministry has failed to incorporate them in daily operations. In the absence of centralized provision of specialized software, the command will use available Western commercial services to organize combat control as they have to fight somehow, he said and then everything develops according to a familiar scenario. The bureaucrats suddenly realize that the servers of these programs, what a coincidence, are located in NATO countries and the data is flowing online to where it should not go. And then the authorized body is given the order to abruptly cut everything off in one swoop. Although Discord was originally conceived as a social platform for gamers, its functionality for stable streaming of audio and video between large groups of people turned out to be useful for both the armed forces and the Russian army, the publication notes. From a military point of view, the main problem with the Discord ban is not even that some command posts may be left without broadcasting from drones, but that the relevant department of the Ministry of Defense does not want to provide the troops with an alternative. Another popular Z blogger complains. He notes that in the absence of an alternative, the Russian troops are forced to use the available Western commercial services because you have to fight. On October 8, 2024, French Armed Forces Minister Sébastien Lecornu officially announced that France will transfer Dassault Aviation Mirage 2000-5F fighters to Ukraine early next year. 
These aircraft are currently undergoing modernization to meet the standards of the French Aerospace Force. The number of aircraft to be transferred has not yet been specified, writes Aviance Legendaires. Le Cornu made the announcement during celebrations at the saint dizier 113 Air Base to mark the 60th anniversary of the Strategic Air Force's first nuclear mission. The news of the delivery of combat aircraft to Ukraine has undoubtedly caused a negative reaction in the Kremlin. Vladimir Putin is critical of the transfer of combat aircraft to Ukraine from European countries, which hinders his plans for a war against Ukraine. According to various sources, France will deliver 12 to 20 Mirage 2000-5F fighters in 2025. Le Cornu said that the first deliveries are planned for the first quarter of next year. From January to March. Until then, French specialists will train Ukrainian pilots and technical personnel. It is not yet known whether the transferred aircraft will include two-seater Mirage 2000 Boliviano. However, it can be said that the Mirage 2000-5F will become a multi-role combat aircraft for the Ukrainian Air Force, and the aircraft will be repainted in Ukrainian colors. One of the main modifications will be the ability to use scalp EG cruise missiles, which are already in service in Ukraine. Next year, Ukraine will receive important new weapons to fight Russian invaders. This is positive news for Ukraine and a testament to the strong diplomatic relations between Kiev and Paris. Earlier, military expert Alexander Kovalenko said that the most interesting thing about the Mirage 2000 aircraft is its combat load. He emphasized that the range of bombs used is no less interesting, GBU-12, 16, 24, 49, which are high precision with a flight range of 15 to 20 kilometers and slightly more, depending on the type.